To rinse or not to rinse? The question is, what do you do before you load your dirty dishes into the dishwasher? And are you doing it right? Consumer expert Amy Davis is, uh, went to get the answers <laughs> once and for all. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I've been here at Channel 2 for about 15 years, and this is about my third go-round with this story. So this time, we wanted to actually show you what happens inside your dishwasher when you fill it up with dirty, non-rinsed dishes. No matter how many times we tell you to put down that plate and that scrubber, your rinsing game is strong. I rinse my dishes and then sometimes wash them and still put them in the dishwasher. I rinse my dishes. My husband makes fun of me every time I do because he says, why are you cleaning them before you put them in the dishwasher? I mean, it's just all the crumbs and all the dirty. I mean, I don't want that to be in my dishwasher. Good housekeeping says we should stop pre-rinsing. Consumer Report says don't bother. And Southern Living has explained why we can stop rinsing. And yet, here we stand, doing it anyway, before we load them in the washer. Yes, because I don't run it every day. And I don't want all that food stuck in there, sitting in there. I get you, Becky. A lot of us rinse because we won't be starting the dishwasher until we fill it up in the next day or so. So we tested day-old dishes. We poured spaghetti sauce in a dish and baked it. We let crusted on Velveeta cheese dip set in, then we loaded them up in a dishwasher, mounting a camera inside so you can see what happens. Exciting stuff. Consumer Report says dishwashers sold in the past five years have a sensor that checks how dirty the water is to determine how much water and how long a cycle is needed to get your dishes clean. If the sensor detects little or no debris, it gives the dishes a lighter wash. And that could actually leave bits of stuck on food. It took an hour and 15 minute cycle, but when it was all over, they look good. The spaghetti sauce all came out. And those bowls with caked on Velveeta cheese, sparkling clean. Nothing in there. All right, so what I learned is no matter what I say or the manufacturers of dishwashers say, rinsers will always be rinsers and non-rinsers will always be men. <laughs> It's just how it goes. It's not how I was raised, Amy Davis. <laughs> I mean, it's every like woman I have. Dishwasher. I'd rather just, rinse, just wash just everything wash and just be done with it. Oh, yeah. And just be done. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, you also, if you don't rinse, you want to make sure that you check your filter. A lot of people don't know about that filter at the bottom of your dishwasher. But if you have bits of rice or food particles, you're going to need to clean that out every once in a while. Put that on your filter list. Well, right. a lot of people, too, are worried that it might smell a little bit in the dishwasher. So that's the filter. Exactly. And if I'm not going to wash them until the next day, I don't want that stinkiness in my kitchen. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. I'm done. Done, I'm done with that story. Yep. I'm sure some people will never change. Time's a charm, you know, but on your 20th anniversary, we'll you do another one. We'll bring it back.